it's frowned upon to take it out of the church. This one just so happened to fall in my bag and come home with me. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm Caillou. Caillou, the worst child on television. And this here is Frank wearing a brand new shirt. How you doing? He's, oh, I know. Can we do that again? The whole thing? Yeah, but it's fine. Just so go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I'm Teacher's Pet. Teacher's Pet. And this here is Frank wearing a new shirt. I was giving the teacher an apple. Thank you. Because that's, that's what Teacher's Pets do. Does this have a worm in it? Don't say that because it was just in my pocket and I'm going to scream. Well, it has a little circle. Let me see. I think you got a wormy apple. Uh, I hope not. Gross. It, it probably that. didn't have a worm in it until it put, you put it in your pocket. It's freaking me out. You probably have worms in your pocket. Stop it. So, is this Frank? Uh, that but, is Frank. But, but why does his hat say Bruce and his shirt say Bruce? Why? Because it's in honor of our friend Bruce. Honor of our friend Bruce, indeed. Bruce, who we did, I don't think we, you were gone. Um, Bruce was in a terrible accident and um, he passed on. And uh, I might be saying it like cavalier right now, but that's not the way I've been feeling. But I am celebrating his life. You were gone. You were at camp. I was. But yesterday, um, it was a week later and uh, we went to his funeral, massive Christian burial. Uh, for Bruce Martin, for Bruce J. Martin the Third, we just know him as Bruce. Yeah, I never called him the Third. <laughs> and Avalon had this made for me. A little spray paint shirt. It's it, called airbrushing, not uh, spray painting. Do they use a spray paint can? They use an air. You never saw an airbrush machine? An airbrush, like what they paint cars with. Yeah, it's like um, yeah, airbrush connected to a motor or something, and it sprays like. I feel like airbrushing used to be really popular. Yeah, it did. Yeah, but um, it's an art, and I would love to know how to do it. I'm and sure you can figure it out. It's probably some YouTube tutorials. Yeah, and you have to you you know they, you know they also airbrush pe- people for um sun tanning. Yeah, airbrush you. Yeah, but so she she had this made for me. Pretty simple. Um, 1995, 2022, Bruce with all the stars because he's a star. And uh, and the guy said, I want to add sparkles. Uh-oh. May I? And then Avalon said, I'll never turn down I'll sparkles. Never, I'll never turn down sparkles. <laughs> um, Bruce, avid fisherman. Yeah, with Preston. So with so his thing says gone fishing because he's gone fishing. Preston, um, your brother, my son. Bruce is very good friend. Um, he taught Preston how to fish. Yep. Taught him everything he knew. Yeah. Barbecuing, skateboarding, fishing, all the fun stuff. All the works. And all the stuff. Is that your tie-dye shirt? You finally found it? Yeah, I found it. I made this. Um, I, I love made- the colors. Thank you. I got made fun of. It was my first really? time tie Really? It's, it's very subtle. Is that why? Yeah. because I you prefer know, it. Yeah. Well, it's like when I was tie-dyeing, I didn't know. Like, it looked good. And, you know, I didn't know it dilutes. And so... I guess you're supposed to use like more colors, more extreme. They didn't tell you? How were you supposed to teach the kids if you didn't even know? Oh, the kids did it perfectly. Really? Yeah, it's me. I'm the one who goofed. I like, but no, it's now the Spencer version because it's subtle. Subtle. Is he wearing tie dye? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Um, I like your shirt. Thank you. I like his shirt. I made the hat. You can't see fish and his name. And so therefore, uh, today's Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, we got, we got pushed, funeral, we got pushed back one day. Right. So for all of you who are expecting a Dr. Seuss Friday, sorry, wait a week. It's going to be a good. We'll, we'll double up next week. Yeah, but, the you know, it'll build up of like. Yeah, it, <laughs> we'll leave you really wanting a Dr. Absence, Seuss Friday. Yeah, makes the heart grow funny. Yeah. So it is Friday, but we're not doing Dr. Seuss Friday. We're, we will hit a, a, a Bible verse for walkthrough Thursday. Absolutely. But. Obviously, we're talking about Bruce. 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 Um, they give out cards. So, so I don't know about. Um, I don't know about other, you. Other religions. I don't know about other cultures. Where we live. I actually. Um, I don't. This is my aunt's card when my aunt passed on. Um, she passed on in two thousand and three. I still have this card. Not oh, wow. because. Not because I put it in a safe place. Not because. I held it. I held it very securely. But thank you, 
Thank you, Hashem, that it always turns up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like, like the it's like the good version of an Annabelle doll. <laughs> yeah. So it's my Aunt Frances. And um, this is just like a classic. So I've been to many funerals over the years. And these are kind of the classic cards I'm used to. It'll have a picture of a saint or yeah. maybe their favorite saint or, or something or even Jesus or Mary on the front. Back will have their name and dates. And then sometimes it'll be a Bible verse. Yeah. A prayer. Something they want um, people to go away with. Yeah. It's laminated. Some people do save them. I, I'm terrible at saving anything. But this, it's like, tur- uh, this turns up. It's like Pokemon cards. <laughs> it turns up them? a lot. So his is... Um, I'm not really familiar with these, these, these new cards where they put the picture of the person. Picture of the person. Yeah. On the back. And no Bible verse. And no Bible verse. I, think it's, I mean, there's like a little poem. Shall I read the poem? Sure. <clears throat> Hold on... Hold your loved ones close today. Whisper in their ear. Tell them that you love them and you'll always hold them dear. For tomorrow is promised no one, young and old alike, and today may be your last chance to hold your loved ones tight. A little dark. That's on that's along the sides of those grim poems, like uh kinda yeah. like the um what is how's the one go? Now I let me down to sleep. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that last one. Right. Uh, it, it, and today may be your last chance. Okay, well, don't, don't focus on that. Okay. What well, it's probably just because this was this was um not an, an illness. This was an accident. Yeah, and so it was it was it was sudden and unexpected. Even though, does anyone not expect death? We are born to perish. Yeah, right. So, but you know, you know, traditionally speaking, it's very sudden. This person was twenty six years old, and um, so you kind of like. Oh no! This happened to me. I want to tell you guys to be, yeah, to, to watch out. Yeah. But <clears throat> as you told me long ago, it is very hard to live in that place of expecting that you will lose everyone around you at any moment. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I that's something great poem and stuff. But I do agree with that. Where I, I never really agreed with the sentiment of like you know someone being hard on themselves for this was the last thing I said to the person or I should have been nicer to them that day. It's right love and caring about someone is a long form thing and if you didn't hug someone tight one night you metaphorically had been hugging them since you've known them and yes. to cherish that like right yeah i agree with love the ones close to you because you don't know when they'll go but not could be tomorrow it could be right. tomorrow it, it doesn't matter it could be in, in 70 years right. hold, hold them tight you right. know like don't don't yeah don't make it so much of let me just get one hug before I go. It's right. Get all the hugs. Pretend like you have forever. And then even, even if you had forever. Right. Treat it like you love the person. Yeah. Because um, you could never hold on to them. Yeah. So even if you knew that today's the day, um, it's you would never want to let go. You could never, you know, you could never say you could never say I love you enough. Yeah. You could never do everything. And so I, I like, it, you know, I like the old Irish, you know, the old Irish goodbye. In general, mm-hmm. you know, one of, the, one of the reasons why I like the old Irish goodbyes, the old Irish goodbye, the, the Irish um, Irish exit, exit, <laughs> um, is so for most of you probably know what that is. But if you're at a party and you're ready to leave, and everyone turns around, where'd they go? It's you left just, without. You just slip out. You slipped out. I like it because goodbyes are always like okay, goodbye, right? Hugs, the kisses, and in my mind, it's I'm gonna see you again. We don't need to do all this. Yes. Is that not the same about life, especially sudden passing? Right. It's the old Irish goodbye. It's I'll see you again. I didn't. I didn't need to do the last right. handholds or all that. It's I'll see you again. Right. Right. And and the last time you know that you saw them, most likely it was just a regular everyday interaction. You know, so yeah. there wasn't any extra um, pressure put on it of how yeah, you're supposed to act. Exactly. Um, Bruce's family had a lovely. Uh, we didn't go to the visitation the night before, but they had, like I said, Master Christian burial in a Catholic church, and it was very beautiful. Yes. And it, and it was tailored to him. They had photo monta- photo collages mm-hmm. of him. Um, his parents were extremely brave and spoke beautifully about him. Not hard to talk good about him. Yeah. Great guy. <laughs> great guy and just... Part of the tragedy is it's so full of life, like loved to experience life yes. and, and, and investigate life and enjoy life and share life. So, you know, you really feel that that end. Yeah. But they did a beautiful job 
um, and it's a terrible time. You have to, you want to honor this person so much, but you in a time, do, do yeah. it now, do it within a few days yeah. in with the resources that you currently have yeah. and, and then live with it for the rest of your life. Was it good enough? Yeah. So it's high, high. It can't be, I don't think there's anything more stressful. <laughs> I don't think they're any more stressful. Yeah, they, did, they did a beautiful job mm-hmm. and they should be, um, they should feel happy about that. Even, even if you can't though. Yeah. So I'm sure there's all sorts of people who I wish I could have done better. I wish I could have told more, you know, um, anything you do, like you, you just said it again. Anything you do does not deplete from the relationship you had with yeah. them or how much, or how much love you're still giving them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The love that's still going up to heaven. Um, so they give out these usually um they make programs usually and and um bruce's family made a beautiful color and you can follow along because now when you go to um we had somebody with us who hadn't been to a catholic funeral they'd only been to a funeral home funeral which is um she said it was different Mm. than a different experience than um the mass so it's a full catholic mass it's yeah. it's um they do the whole communion right the blessing of the bread and wine and the just the whole structure of a of a ma- of mass you'd normally have uh, the bible readings and everything and then they just also adapt it to the homily we'll talk about um the departed and they will it's a sacrament so um the body is present and they will bless it with holy water and the incense and those important prayers so they have these programs in church they also have these books okay in catholic churches did you steal another book i did (laughs) okay (laughs) i stole another book um i won't say from which church so you can't come and get me unless they do the research (laughs) and find where this was we gave the full name prove it I'll say that this was photoshopped. Um, these are these are called missiles, okay? And um, they're in the pews of Catholic churches. They sit in little piles at the end of the thing. You can grab one, right? And when you open it, it's it literally tells you every day that there's going to be a mass. It'll yeah. say like July 9th, 2022, because as you, I don't know if you can see from here, but it says 2022 on the cover. Yeah. This is the 2022 one. So you can follow along. I'm making it sound easier than it is. It's kind of hard to figure out where yeah. you are. <laughs> but... Um, this is there for you to follow along because if you go to a Catholic church funeral, you're, you might not be Catholic. Yeah. You're going for Bruce, but you're Methodist or you're nothing, yeah. you know? And so you go, if you want, you can do this. It's frowned upon to take it out of the church. This one just so happened to fall in my bag and come home with me. But they also make this super, some people make super simple little one like this that gives you the outline. Yeah. Um, the readings that they're going to be talking about the um, readers. So again, Bruce's family did such a great job and his sister spoke. She spoke so eloquently and clearly and, you know, um, lovingly. And to be able to do that once again, uh, cause you, you're, you're dealing with the emotion, yeah. but you want to honor him, but you know, but you know, they're big Christians and um, that helped them. It helps yeah. a lot to have a strong faith. To lean on your faith at that and time, not on your own understanding. So um, they included photos on theirs. You can do that, or you don't have to do that. Um, and so you go through the regular mass. Now, when I was in Florida, I probably talked about this back last old podcast last September. Um, in Florida, I would go to the Catholic church every day. Yeah, and um, the regular mass would be a funeral mass as well because. A lot of old people die there. <laughs> and so they would just put it in. Yeah. You know, slip and slip it on in. Slip it on in. And it would be like um what's it called? Cremate cremated yeah. remains there. So that's what I'm saying. It's a regular mass, and then this is an addition. So I'm used to it, but um so Can we talk about one thing? Though? Sure, sure. Catholic mass. So what you're saying is uh it's just a mass and then also a funeral. Right. So there was communion. Yes. There was people that weren't Catholic. Right. The priest made a point to say, if you're not Catholic, keep your butts in the pews. Um, didn't say it that way, but he did say that. He said, he said, if you're not Catholic, please don't get up. He did say that. How do you feel about that? I felt 
I felt very unhappy about that. I was felt very unhappy about that. Okay. So there were um, non-Catholics at this Catholic um, mass. Yeah. Ceremony for Bruce. Yeah. And for everybody. Most like most. I've been to so many Catholic funerals and uh, so many people there are not Catholic. I've been to so many Catholic weddings and so many people there are not Catholic. Yeah. And um, I can't really remember hearing that specifically. No. The priest say that. Um, I, I've heard people tell their friend, yeah. you know, like, you're not supposed to get com- communion. You're yeah. not supposed to get communion even if you um, are like younger than your first communion, right? Yeah. This priest, so it's a, it's a funeral. Everyone's there full of love. Yeah. Love for love for the departed, love for the family of the departed, and love for all of, we're all, because we're all in the same experience. We're all sharing the same experience. And we're all feeling the love and we're all looking for comfort and looking for help really yeah. you know with your feelings and so the you kind of went along for the ride of the mass and um like i said the person i was with didn't experience a church mass before and she she was enjoying it because she felt it was less um depressing mm-hmm. because in the fun- in the funeral home ceremony it was a lot of remembering the yeah, the departed probably, yeah. and like saying all these things it was very tear jerker but with this mass, like there were times that you could just I'm listen, just, listen about the prayers and I'm homilies just, about God, and right, and just go through the um the structure of yeah. of of the mass. So we were kind of lulled along, and and communion happens at the end of a Catholic mass, and right before it was time for people to share in the bread and walk, yeah. up, we walk up, we get a piece of host. The priest said it's for the Catholics, and if you're not Catholic, um please don't is that what he said or he said say a prayer or something yeah please just remain in your seats and say a prayer or something right um i wasn't completely shocked because i mean i've heard about like i'm not i'm not like this is a new concept Mm -hmm. to me but especially being said i guess we do we're going to continue talking about bruce but i just want to bring this up since it happened no because yeah this yeah definitely talking about bruce is talking about this this mass yeah sure yeah (laughs) yeah sure (laughs) yeah no so i also noticed that um, it felt as though this priest was heavily focused on talking about Jesus. Like almost like I have no ill words to say about a, a follower of God, but it was like very much like, and just so you know, Jesus is the way like, yes, putting that like, that's the way we're going to, which I'm fine. With. I, I'm number one agreeer with that. Right. But, to then, like, it's a bigger. I guess that's why. What I should say, it's a bigger concept than this priest. It's a, it's a Catholic thing that technically it's a, it's a sacrament. But my question is, is it going along with what Jesus wanted? I mean, to like you, you have the opportunity. You're, yes. you're talking about Jesus, and you're stating as fact, which I believe is a fact, but you're stating that Jesus is the way, and He's the one who's carrying us through this. And then you're saying, okay, now let's share in the body of Jesus. Oh, except if you're not right. already. Like, it was, you, wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't, it was contradictory. Wouldn't you want everyone who's willing? Because it's not, like, uh, you, most people still wouldn't have gone if they weren't Catholic. Right. Gone up. But why are you gatekeeping somebody from experiencing the body of Christ? Because there's two options. Either you don't believe it to be you know like the body of christ and you believe it as a catholic tradition an earthly we made this this is our club tradition right that's one thing but if you believe it's the body of christ which catholics do it's bigger than catholicism right it is god on earth and it is for all of god's children yes. none of the disciples were christian right or catholic for that matter i mean like that didn't start till 400 years after his death and so I my personal opinion would be to share it with anyone who wants it, even if you could say, but they don't understand the meaning of it and stuff. And it's like, well, that's fine because we always say that of like, let. It, our, my belief is that is that you know like the Holy Eucharist is blessed. I'm here to bless everyone, even right. if even if they're like, haha, I'm gonna eat a wafer, and it's like, okay, well. I believe that's a blessed wafer, and so good on you for eating it. Right. You know? That's my personal opinion. Yes. Um, 
I it was a missed opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll I'll just go straight to that. It was a missed opportunity, and every opportun every opportunity where people come in, um, in touch with the Catholic Church are are there for whatever reason. If it's a wedding, if it's a baptism, baptism, well, if it's a funeral, huh? Baptism. A baptism. A baptism. A funeral. The people have never been there before, and they come in. And it's a missed opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you. Yes, the, the priest is following the structure of the mass. Yes, the rule is to get your to be to be like educated in Holy Communion. Then you get your Holy Communion, first Holy Communion, and then you go on to seven. But I did speak to some non-Catholics yesterday, and they were not. They were, like I said, Bruce's family did a wonderful job. They were so happy to be brought together in a religious. Um, situation they were happy to show their support their love their prayers everyone there was praying whether they were catholic or not and nobody can stop you from that but they were put off by the gated community yeah. that this priest now just to let you know i know that priest um i know him from years and years ago i i mean he would never say he knew me yeah. but i know him because he led a church of two churches that i was associated with and he's not He's not the nicest person. I'll just go and say that, okay? Um, and I'm not alone in saying it, so I know that I'm I'm justified in saying it. Yeah. And it's okay to say it because oh, he's a priest. Like, I shouldn't say that. I can say that. Okay? And it's what we were talking about. I don't know if it was um, this week or last week where we said it's unfortunate to judge a religion on someone you come in contact with. The brand podcast. He, okay. He's carrying on the priest brand and putting... It's a Catholic right. sentiment, Catholic sentiment, Catholic sentiment. He's not great. And so unfortunately, I have encountered him many times and I've encountered so many people that weren't him. So yeah. I have my own opinion of Catholicism and, and ceremonies I, I would enjoy taking part in. But for people, that was that was going to be their only time ever to come into a Catholic church to, to hear a priest talk and to feel disclu un, um, discluded. That's not a word. To unincluded feel, to feel unincluded um people told me that just what you just said that that um it was good to hear about jesus but they were feeling a little um they were waiting for and also how how can we feel better yeah what's happening over here yeah um it's it's a shame because like everybody wanted to be on board and be like yeah let's ha let, let's let this happen but i feel that this priest let it get in the way now like I said, if it's a rule of the Catholic Church that that Catholic non-Catholics aren't supposed to receive communion, okay, fine. Don't say anything. Yeah. Right? Because nothing's going to happen if a non-Catholic takes communion. Nothing's going to happen. They don't have a limited amount of hosts. Uh, the the person's not going to catch on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing's going to happen, so like don't say anything. Yeah. Let the person say and like you said, majority of non-Catholics will be would never even open the book yeah. to be like, what's going on? Let alone be like, I want to have some bread. But if they want it to have some bread, just to be part of that, that bereaved community, just to be, just to say, you know what? I like what just happened in that communion um, ceremony. Yeah. And I, I want a piece of the bread. I, I was feeling it. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, right. if, it, if it's like, imagine a different religion. Like, right. Exactly. You went to a, a Buddhist thing and, and you, you, I don't know, took a, took a, a sip of the holy juice. It's like, whatever. And it's image. It does make me mad. I don't feel mad, but Bruce wouldn't mind because he was so laid back and so easygoing, and he laughed at me many times of my cookiness. Tirades. <laughs> but um, it makes me mad that, that 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 he did that because, like I said, I've been to mass many, 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 many times, and I've never heard them say it in a regular mass. Yeah. And yet there could be non-Catholics in a regular mass that just came in, like. I've been in tourist towns, in, in, you know, beautiful tourist churches. So, of course, people are coming in who aren't Catholic. Yeah. And they don't stop at that point and say, and now the Catholics can, can, can receive communion. They don't say it. So, to be at a funeral where we are, we're always brothers and sisters. But in that time, we're extreme brothers and sisters. Like, yeah. at Bruce's funeral, we were all his family to say, some of you can, can come up and some of you can't. Now, yeah. Jesus, Jesus corrected, you know, the 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 jewish priests and scholars right to say stop with the rules stop with this stop with that but like 
So you feel that if you if you're Christian, like yeah. you're doing what he was telling you not to do. Yeah, not as if he came back now and he wouldn't have anything else to say. Right. You're not beyond correction. Yeah. So I was sad. I, I listen. I was more sad about having to wait to see Bruce for a, a long time now, but I was less saddened that I was like missed opportunity. Like you yeah. have all these people here. These people could have said. You know what? I went to I went to a funeral and like I really liked it. Yeah, I, you know I liked so that miss. Open. It was so open. I'm gonna the, go back on Sunday. This made it feel not open because it did. What is someone gonna say now? Yeah. Are they gonna say, okay, um, how do I become Catholic because I want to be a part of that group? No, no, they're gonna say I was out of church for Bruce. I didn't belong with the church. Exactly. It, it, it's gatekeeping. It is, and and it's gatekeeping to the fullest. It made oh. it seem like you're allowed in here now because yeah. you're at this funeral, but you're not allowed you in here. You, you can't do the... And that's not true. I just want this to go out on YouTube. You can go into any Catholic church. Everybody, go into... Walk in. There's no price. There's no... Um, there's nobody at the door. There's no card. Like, you went to communion, right? Yeah. When you got up there, did they say, show your Catholic card so we can give you a piece of bread? No. No. So it's like... Yeah, you know what? Everyone, this Sunday, go to a Catholic church and get communion, even if you're not Catholic. You can. I'll, I'll tell you. You walk up, left hand, over right hand. They'll put it into your left hand. You say... They, or no, uh, they'll say body of Christ. You say amen. Right hand, mouth, genuflect, and you keep it moving. And guess what? No one's going to stop you. No one's going to stop you. Do it. Can we have like a whole underground like system of non-Catholics receiving Catholic communion? Do it because it's more important to me as a Catholic. I'll have Francis can call me if he if he has work if he has work. To be honest, I think Francis would be very much I know, supportive of I it. I know, and he wouldn't. I'm a Catholic, um, and I'm encouraging people to go to churches. And if you go to a church and you don't like it, go to a different Catholic church. Even though a lot of them have closed, they're everywhere. Yeah. Google Catholic Church. Walk into one. If you, this priest, I don't like this priest. Don't go to his mass. Next time, try a different priest. I It's it's my fear that people throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. Oh, I went once and they said stuff I didn't like to hear. Because like I said, there was something very comforting about this mass yesterday that was beyond what people are used to of a memorial service of a um of a um these a celebration of life these yeah. kind of things it, it it's just sort of like a comforting like it's jesus broke the bread at the last supper yeah. and it's repeating his words and um so forth i realize we're almost out of time we didn't do the walk through thursday you want to do the, the 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 we have we did have a quote um from revelation yes um quote from revelation god will wipe all tears from our eyes and there will be no more death, suffering, crying, or pain. Last book of the Bible. Last book of the Bible, Revelation. Um, yeah, I'm pretty self-explanatory. I, I think the in times of, of mourning and loss is the hardest times to lean on God. Or lean, I guess, the, it's the hardest time to understand or be able And Yes. It's the most time that you need to give all, give away that attempt to understand well bruce's put, dad in his speech he was being extremely christian and extremely loving and open-hearted and but he said god i need you to explain this to me yeah he, and i just he, feel he, like he the said, priest should have <laughs> helped him a bit yeah yeah he, he said um as a christian i know that he's in a better place as a man or as a father you need to explain this to me right god. Which is a, a definitely a, a real and valid point to be made, but um yeah, I, I think I think that is the time when others need to come because as much as, as you want to not lean on your understanding understanding and lean on to God, God is love and so the best thing you can do is give love and then let people be a reminder of not understanding through laws and, and yeah. all this is like Love is the reminder. Lo- right. Love is the, oh, wait, it's going to be okay. My love for Bruce is never gone. Right. The love around me, my love for him, that's still there, which means he must still be there. And it's a great um, analogy you always use of of uh, parent, child, father, son. Yeah. So, you know, if I could say to Bruce's dad, mom, whoever, you know, the pain, the love he feels for Bruce right now. Yes. I will do anything for my son. 
God is feeling for Bruce's dad. Yeah. You know, so what you're saying, this, this, this circle of love, this, um, unfortunately for the priest that we had, he, <laughs> he missed the Leonardo, that this circle of inclusive love for absolutely everybody and everyone is welcome here and you don't have to prove, you don't have to prove your ID or your rank or anything. You don't even have to have, you were the best person in the world. Like, yeah. Yeah. This show is all about love and, um, but yeah, so that's that, um, podcast in memoriam of Bruce, um, severely missed, but severely loved. He has, he's not, he's not that far away. That's our podcast. We'll be back next week for one word Wednesday. Um, tune in, have a fun weekend. Peace.